Hello everybody and welcome once again to Mechanism 110. Now today, well let's go and have a look how the miner's been getting on. It's been busy I think. In fact I haven't done much in the meantime between the last episode and now. But there is something I would like to investigate today. We have to do two things, look at storage and also a bit of crafting. So those two things. What I did do in here is I put in some energy upgrades and it's looking pretty full so I didn't put in any speed upgrades in here but I did put in the eight energy upgrades and I also built a couple of farms over here with progressive automation this one's got wheat in it and this one's got potatoes baked potatoes are quite a good f food anyway so the, f the wood farm is working pretty well, but we keep running out of axes. So let's just now set up a very simple bit of automation. I'm going to remove some of this grass. I really want to do it. So let's do it here. So here I've got some wood, crafter, wood crafters from... Um, I should have more, actually. I'm surprised when I got two. And I've got a stone one as well. Basically, one speed nearly the upgrade difference is speed. So, a stone crafter and two wood crafters. What I would like to do is to make some automatic axes. Now, we're using stone, so that should be okay. And what we'll do here is we'll create the recipe for, for axes. I think I need to go and get some more stone. Let's do that quickly as well. Let's put some fuel into there as well. And this one here, we're going to make sticks. And I need some wood. Well, there's plenty of wood around. Let's just go and get some. I don't think it matters too much which wood I use, but let's go into here and have a look at what we've got in here. 16, that's fine. So in here, we can put some ordinary oak in, and that will produce oak blocks. So let's put those 32 in there. And this is a, and this side here is where the raw materials go. So at the moment we've got no raw materials. So we need to feed these through from each block. So let's take out of here this one. Now this is um, a logistics transporter from Mechanism, the basic one. So first of all, let's go and get some more cobblestone. We've got plenty of that lying around. And in fact, we've got plenty of wood. take two stacks of cobblestone that would be enough I think and we've got plenty of wood in here I've moved it around a bit let's take these 51 jungle trees being in the process being chopped down so let's come around this side so here we're going to put in the raw material so we'll put in these here what will happen is that will fill up in here using this energy fuel and these are basically fuel pellets i'll come to those in a second so what we need to do now is to pull the items out of here so what we do is we take the configurator and we make sure we're in the right mode so at the moment it's configuring fluids gases energy what we need to do is configure items here so the first thing we do here is we want this to be in the pull mode so if we simply I think that shift right click on this that's the push and this is the pull so as you see it straight away as I pull it items are coming out and they, these are coming into here in fact they're going to the wrong place we don't want them in the fuel bit we'll put in um, let's just half these two here we shouldn't be using any fuel here we go so when they're going into here now they're going to be start to automatically crafted what I want to do is I want to fill this up here so we don't get more than the stack. And that's then producing sticks. So obviously in the last one we do the same thing. So shift right clicking on this one, we get it to pull mode and it'll switch to be pulling out sticks. So sticks are coming in here. Now I'm going to have to use a different filler for this. Let's use say oak planks. I probably haven't got enough. Let's just come out of these and just take a bunch of these out of here. Eight will be more than enough. 
we want one stack of, or maybe two stacks of cobblestone like that and we need three of those out of there in order to get the crafting recipe like that and then we should be getting out of here axes great so of course then we need to so drop some wood on the floor so let's put the axes down into a chest of course I could feed them directly into these machines which we'll maybe do as a bit of automation later on so I've made a few, few chests because you know, I'm always needing chests and I'm going to fill this up again with maybe some cobblestone let's take out a few blocks of this here I will think I would say that um, a maximum we don't want to fill up this chest with cut oh, I probably need more than that take some more Sixteen. Two more, I think, will be good. One row would be, would be quite good. Right. So now we put down the pipe again, and do the same thing with the configurator. It's just two right clicks, and they, now we're going to start getting into here axes. Oh, pickaxes. I want pickaxes. I want axes. Let's get those made. Well, I could use pickaxes as a filler as well, couldn't I? Here we go. I made a stone hoe as well at the same time. So we've got a couple of these. So now we can come along here and simply put these into the hopper here. And make sure oh, it's already finished. It's already out of axis. That's good that we've done this just in time. Take some more of those. I'll fill up this hopper. Right, we've got two in there now. Let's check the oak. Is there always another one? Yep, that's got no axes in, so it's got one in the machine. And we're going to do something up here as well, but there's too much materials in here. Let's just have a count of what we've got in here. So we have osmium ore, redstone or coal or iron ore, copper ore, that's five different types, tin R6, gold or seven. Lapazuli 8, Diamond or 9, and I think that's it in terms of differences. So we'll, we'll just be, to be safe, we'll do 10. Let's just check the stocks in here before I go back. Could do another stack of cobblestone and some wood in here. Let's put the wood in straight away. They are not the most efficient crafters in terms of power, but we can automate that as well by adding some redstone stuff to it. Now the next thing I want to do, let's go downstairs. Because Mechanism has this thing called a bin, and you don't think it's actually a bin. It also has got this assembler, this is new, I don't know what to think about this yet. In fact, I would like to make one of these. So we need eight steel and one osmium ingot for glass. Okay, so eight steel, we've got plenty of steel now, plenty of osmium ingots. Glass we've got 32. What else did we need? Nothing for this one. We can make one, well actually we'll make two. Because we're going to need these. And this one. So we need Two basic control circuits, one chest and one crafting table. So this one looks like it's a crafter, so let's get two out of that. will make two crafting tables. I only want one. And basic control circuits, which we've only got one of. Now this is um, redstone and osmium in this machine here. You'll see here, it's, now it's changed, it says, because I've got the configurator in my hand, it's saying this is a, it's a grade output. So that basically means that the front is a grade output. So we can check this actually. See the front here, it's grey. So no output. Um, redstone, compressed redstone. Let's make eight. So now I've also added into this, I've upgraded this both with speed 
so it's got 10 times and energy so it's got eight times energy so we would like to make these so that's basically we'll put one of those in here eight of these into the thing goes into the wrong slot but as it makes it easier to count and you'll see now it's working pretty fast if you remember from yes last time so all the processes are fast and it hasn't used any energy in here at all so pretty good so where were we going to make this thing here so I'm missing one 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 crafting table I oh, should have enough now to do this right I've got no idea this machine I can't even find anything about it anywhere but I also have seen this one and this is a crafting formula let's make one of these so I need paper and a basic control circuit paper we don't have but maybe we do have some nope oh, it's night time I won't just go out of that I'll have a quick sleep interesting you see all the all the text when you have to sleep which is possibly good any mobs around no not really but we've got some sugar cane over here which is fine and with these free runners I'm just jumping up and down past those things quite quickly and everything else for that matter let's craftly crap craft th three pieces of paper should have another one shouldn't tie there were six let's put those two in here and in fact for that matter let's have a an apple we've got plenty of apples even two apples So all we needed for that was one of these and a piece of paper. I reckon that this thing will go in this machine, but let's have a look. And I don't know if it needs power. If it does, we're going to have a little bit of a problem with space at the moment. But we could put it on top of the Osmium compressor. Let's try that. And indeed it is a crafting machine. Let's have a look what happens if we put where do we put this? Can I shift click it in somewhere? Yes I can. So let's have a look what could we make in here? Something easy and quick to check. Let's go and see if we've got any iron ah let's go and get some cobblestone and make a cobblestone axe. Six in there, actually plenty. Let's take these 64 with us as well. So it does need power, as we can see. And it probably needs a recipe. Let's just try this. Two sticks in here and and that gives me a tick. And then I presumably I can encode this formula in here, which means it's now got a little green marker down here and it'll work so let's put some materials in let's put those sticks in there and let's give it some power so we just need a cable universal cable will be fine this one let's put those back in here for the time being we don't need those I don't think and put some power on here I don't think this will connect anywhere funny so let's just do it whoa Do I have to say it? craft a single item? Craft available items. Turn on auto mode. Let's craft a single item. There we go. So we've now got an axe. So this is Mechanism's little crafting thing. And I reckon we can take that out of there. And take another one. Let's make another couple of those actually. While we're, while we're here, we've got two pieces of paper. And as you see, this little tab at the bottom. What happens if I put two in? Does it create two recipes? Or does it create one? If we did move this one over here and added that to that, do I have two the same? 
Oh, I do, don't I? Okay. Probably don't want to do that. Oh, but we could add. Actually, I don't want to do that. I wonder if I can now clear this item. Maybe just need to overwrite it. Let's try doing that. No. I wonder how I clear that off. Ah, oh, simply shift right click on it in your hand and then that empties the current recipe out and we can then write the next recipe. So that's a, an interesting new component from Mechanism. I've not seen it before called a quantum entangler zilly water. Ha ha. I'll have to get wheelie fixed somehow or other. <laughs> Very funny. Um, I don't know how to do that either. So here we have a go. Right. Next thing I want to look at is Mechanism. Let's go over here. Uh, let's have a look at um, their bins. So they have these, mechanism has these bins, a basic bin. That's what you got here, combiner. Okay, it'll be the combiner factory. So we need to make some of these. That's uh, cobblestone, good, the two redstone. Okay, so I'm going to make 10 of those, didn't I? So I want a bit more, obs I need some more of these um, basic control circuits. Let's take those and osmium ingots we've got plenty of there so we're going to make about 10 actually i don't know why i'm doing that let's put those into there i need these so that each one of those will produce eight so we need uh, we'll do both we'll do we'll do all of those yeah, give me 16. that shoots up basically half of 15 plus one i mean like that so we need 10. That's not going to take very long now, is it? Well, wow, that's just spectacularly fast. So the basic bin, we need redstone. Oh, I've got redstone in here, haven't I? Let's take that out of here. Don't need it in there. That was actually an output from the redstone ore from the Richmond. Now, what else do we need? Cobblestone we got, I think. That's it. 10. Great. The reason I wanted these is I want to go and take these outside. Now, we need, make, need to make sure I've got enough of this basic logistics transport pipe as well. Let's have a look for, let's make some more of that. I think we'll need 10 of these. Let's have a look. Um, recipe for that. Okay, so two steel ingots and these again. Well, we should have these now made. Basic control circuits, another 10. I'm now going to make, I think, think, oops, that's the wrong way around, it's in the middle, 16 should be enough, so now we've got 21, that's good, okay, clear up the inventory a little bit, just to make sure we don't have everything that we don't need on us, cobblestone, good, in fact, let's make sure we've got enough cobblestone, that was a, basically it was a stack we needed for the other machine, doesn't it? And let's go outside. Still daytime, I think. Where's the sun? All right, so early afternoon. So what we need to do now is we need to take this, these items out of here. Too much grass. So this is an output port, I think. So let's try putting on... No, it's not an output port. So how do I... I thought this was an output. Doesn't tell you, does it? Not so obvious. If I put it down... Put it down here. Nope, not connecting there. What about here? That is actually a power point. I know that one. Ah, let's click on the front here and see. We see now we're full. So let's have a look at the configuration. That's visuals. That's power. Upgrades. Redstone signal. That's a bit of a challenge. How do I get the items out of here? Can I put a block on here or do I have to set it up first of all? That's actually just changing the colour of this, so it's not, in fact... Yes, you can colour code these as well. 
you can't see it very well. If I come over here, if I shift right click on these, you'll see it's changed it now to dark green and dark blue, dark green, dark aqua, red, purple, indigo. So it's going through a lot of different, and then the bright colors, yellow and black, and then there should be none. I suspect you can do shift left click to go back. Oh no, you can't. That's a bit of a challenge. How do I get the items out of here automatically? Do you know, I'm going to have to quickly look that up because I thought it was as simple as putting the output on the back. Maybe that was the old version. I presume it doesn't work if I stick it anywhere else because that hasn't worked. Oh, auto eject. Try that one. Does that connect anything to anywhere? Should have done. Let's try another one of these somewhere else. Nope. So that's just connecting around. It's actually not connecting to this. Okay, let's just simply bash these off then. Is. I wonder it's not under, underneath, is it? I'm going to have a look underneath. Oops, that's too far. Well, I don't see any spaces in here. There's another PowerPoint, I guess. Let's have a look. Yeah, another PowerPoint. Can I get out of here now? No. Right, okay, I shall come back to that. But basically what I want to do is I want to put down these bins here and then feed that into here. So what I'll do is I'll come go back inside because it's getting towards night. And the mobs will come out and we want to. We don't need to avoid those, but then again, I'm not a game of this game. This, this video is not really about fighting mobs. It's more about uh, mechanism. So I'm going to do a quick, go inside and do a quick sleep and then I'll come back after I've slept. Oops, is it too early? No. Right, the night's over, and I have been looking up what I have to do with this. Just quick check, no mobs around. Three to our right, we don't care about those. I think they're underground, actually. I've got some cobblestone on me, let's put the cobblestone into this one. In fact, I can't. Oh, okay, i wait. So, with this thing, it's actually more of a visual thing rather than a, anything else. So what you do is, you, I was correct, we'll put these logistic pipes down here. And we shall run them, I think we'll run them in one direction, doesn't really matter which. Let's say we run them down here. Okay. Missed. We'll fix that in a second. We need around about 10, don't we? How many we've got now? Don't know yet. Let's have a look. So then we'll put on attach to these bins. In fact, what I will do is I'll put them on the top because on top's easier to reach, isn't it? On the ground's always a bit of a pain. And to be honest with you, I don't know if I attach them one or one to each other like this will be fine. I think. Too close. We've got three left, so I need another two, don't I? So let's put down two more. Actually, we'll put down three. And we'll have one for a chest at the end of it. They're a bit high up, never mind. I'm sure we can still manage. I don't really want them to rotate. To tell you what we'll do. Have we got anything in there here that I can use? Just some cobblestone. Let's put that down here. get to the end. Try jumping up properly. One of those and then at the end of this we'll put a chest. So the chest will be a catch all to catch everything else that we haven't found. So what we now need to do is we need to come into here and take one out of each item. So let's just start here and put those into the chests coal we've got. So tin we haven't I don't think we have. We'll sort it in, we'll see. Lapis lazuli gold. 
diamond. Let's just saw that. Okay, that looks like around about eight. I'm probably missing one. It doesn't really matter that much. I think all we know to do too is to put these. Let's do control space and put those up there and control shift these down here. We can put one of these in each one of these, like this. Don't matter if we've got two, because they're going to be filled up with stacks of them, so. So what are we missing? I don't know. We shall soon find out. All we do now is we come down to this machine here, then we tick the auto eject on, and you'll see the items are disappearing, coming down here, should now be feeding into these chests, I hope. No, oh, they're not. Do I have to do something with these things? Oh, they're going straight into my chest at the end. That's not what I wanted it to do. So why are they not feeding in here? Let's have a look. It's got no user interface on these things. I wonder. I wonder if I have to set these to be pull or something like that. Let's just see. Because now I reckon that chest is going to be full. Oops, so she was that a chicken? Chicken was pushing me around. I think the animals can do that in this version of Minecraft. They didn't used to be able to do it. Now let's get this thing back to where it should be. But it actually wants to be in position two because I want the bow in position one. Actually, it's sort of in inventory tweaks to sort that out as well. Let's look, take some of these out of here. See if anything happens. That's copper. Actually, copper's the one I haven't put in. I think I saw copper go past here. So let's try shifting these. Oh, it doesn't seem to be working, whatever it's doing. I'm doing wrong. Maybe that. But they did connect, and they did come out of here, and this doesn't look like it's connected, but it is. I shall go away and figure this out and come back when I've figured it out. See you in a short while. Right, I'm back again after that. I just needed to put them on the top. I didn't realise that. Anyway, that would save at least one pipe, which is not too bad. And I put down a chest here, because I want to take the items out of here ended up in this chest and put them into the other chest that was just simply was that a shift right click call all the lead or i think that's everything sort that out make sure that's the only stuff that we've got in there and then come back over here and that will probably be control space click will bring down everything it can and then we should just come back here and shift right click these up Oh, I'm sorry, control shifting these up here. So as you should see, these are all getting fed into the right places now. And I've got the nine chests. There is another ore, and that will be salt ore. But we won't come across that until we hit the desert. So we have this chest at the end for overflow, and this chest at the beginning to put stuff in to sort it. But it doesn't that fast. We'll take this coal one and put it straight into the coal bin. There we go. So as you can see, this is working quite nicely. And I bet there can be an upgrade on this as well. And I don't think we can do it by stack with the basic logistic pipe. But if we had change it to the advanced ones, we probably can. So that's bins. Some automation and pipes or well, at least logistic pipes we haven't covered all the logistic pipes at the moment well, how many have we got 1800 to mine so there's another 1800 blocks in there so what i'm going to do for now a quick actually i'm going to have a quick bite to eat i think it's melon time this time 
and we're going to take one of these each. Oh, that was a bad mistake. Especially since I've just taken it out. Let's take it out of here. There we go. Um, fact. I don't want to do that just yet until we've got a stack of each one. So we'll come back in a while and do that. In fact, what I would like to do is take a single coal. We've got already anyway. We've already done redstone. We've got coal. That's another one. Lapis lazuli. I must have more lapis lazuli. Let's take out a few of two here. And diamond. Redstone. We did the other stand that gave 12. And coal, which I think we've got down. Okay. So let's have a look at that benefit of using silk touches on these in the mechanism world now I have not got a fortune pickaxe yet but for a fortune 3 pickaxe is the best for things like uh, diamonds you'll get around about 2.5 diamonds for each ore with a fortune pickaxe so let's have a look what have we got here don't want copper ore Let's put that in the chest here. Let's take one of each of them. We know this actually. Let's take this down here. And this. So a standard coal and a standard lazuli. Let's have a look how much that does with the pickaxe here. That's one coal. And seven lazulis. Now let's go and put those into the enrichment chamber. That's actually turned off. That was turned off because I want to grind some coal, um, some sand from from gravel. And gravel came from um, cobblestone, and I didn't want it to be processed by the enrichment chamber because if it is, if I look at the usage of this in the enrichment chamber, it creates gravel, so it goes back again. So crusher, and, crusher and enrichment aren't compatible. So let's put one coal in here and see what we get out and put one lapis lazuli in here it's wrong place see what we get out of this check this is empty for both coal so we get two coal and 12 lapis lazuli in fact i was expecting to get one i forgot in here no just efficiency normally you get six so you double those out that's pretty good so right that's the end of this episode next time we shall carry on with, I'm not sure, we're going to move our base soon anyway. So until then, bye for now.